to chub. What's up, dudes? Great stuff, great stuff. Well, this round is going live. We got 30 seconds for the pistol round. HH versus Veritas. HH has been going ham trying to practice for this win. Veritas, I don't quite know their practice regiment, but I'm pretty sure they wake up every night and in the morning because you wake up in the morning, not the night. But and they Link eat, they eat eggs too. and bacon all the days for them. I've heard that they're practicing a very strict don't sleep policy. Yeah, yeah. Kate's very, uh, very hardcore about her sleep. She says none, none to it. Yes. They just sub out playing insurgency. That that becomes the resting period. <laughs> you know, they they have they have shifts on the single account that yeah. they grind practice on. Alright, well, we are off. Up. Go, go, go. I guess I guess I'm talking the most here. I don't really know what to say because I don't know what any of these teams are expecting to do. Some shots being exchanged from outside B. It looks like there are two players outside, or Mr. BS is down lower. That might be where the shot's coming in. But Kiba gets the first kill onto Chewy. That's not something I was expecting. Kiba doing an excellent job on this top A with Pistol. Very nice work with the 1911. A is still contested for Kiba, so he's got to play a little bit patient. And you know what? Kiba is known for his patience. Vance is outside taking some shots. Kate as well outside. Look at this. An M9 and a 1911 both silenced. Actually, the, M uh, the Market 19 is not silenced. But there are two Veritas players pushing this outside. Logdog has to fall back. He's going to go inside B, where Kate is going to get a kill on Mr. BS on that window side. Or actually, she killed Strike. My bad. I was looking at the wrong angle. But Logdog with the nice single click on the Vance. But Kate pulls out the M9, shoots him from the other side of the window. That's Veritas in a nutshell. If you get a kill, you're going to die within the next two seconds because they are excellent with those counter frags. Link, who's changed his name to something weird, just killed Kiba. So, Veritas capture Bravo. A is now being decapped, I believe. Camera no, they're holding it. Yeah. No, they are. Deity is on this point. He's in a 1v1 here. Soon to be a 1v3. Mr. BS is down low in this lower area. He hears players above him in B, which of course he's calling out to his team. They are definitely all rotating for this A point. Deity's in some trouble here. And he's got 1911, which means he doesn't have too much ammo. You can hear all these players running in behind him. Oh, gets the first kill, but Link comes in behind to get that counter frag. Mr. BS is on B. I don't expect him to, to get this. Veritas just ran all over A, and now they should be all on B within the next two seconds. Yep, Link is going to be the first one on the point. He's actually pretty close to him. Mr. BS does get the first kill, but Kate with that... What do we call that? Trade back? Trade back? Counter back? It all depends on the team. A counter crackbacks, I think, is what I heard <laughs> call it once. Let's go with that. We just said it right now. That and you know, to be fair, Veritas is probably one of the only teams that's actually pretty good with their crackbacks. You know, I think I think most teams play insurgency kind of like chess. You know, they move different pieces rather slowly. They get a kill and they kind of shift around. Whereas Veritas is like, I don't know what game they're playing, but it's it's, it's fast. like an organic. You know, yeah. animal. It's like they're moving in concert. You know, like an octopus with its legs. They're Actually, all moving that's a really together. good analogy. That's really good analogy because it's so true. Because as soon as one tentacle is moving out, there's another three right behind it backing it up. So yeah, you might chop the first tentacle, but you know the Kraken man. It's got more than one loading, little loading. leg. Oh, this is gonna be so good, case <laughs> if Oh, I can feel the tension. <laughs> Pistol round was pretty close. I mean, there were some mistakes here and there, but pistol rounds are always, like... I can never I tell if the pistol round is, like, a prelude to what's to come, or if it's kind of like, ah, that I, was fun, now it's a real game. I don't think it is. I think it's the latter. I don't think it correlates. I, I think it depends on the team, though, because, like, there's been some pistol rounds that were, like, the most intense, and then the matches sucked afterwards, so it's just... <laughs> well, that's kind of interesting. Some shots being exchanged from middle B. Looks like they're trying to shut down Strike, which is something they used the last time these two teams played each other. But Chewie with the first frag on the Deity, not giving away first blood that time. And there's actually quite a few players taking some fire here. Law Dog ends up killing Chewie, so that was a good trade back. But Veritas is on this B objective, and he takes out Strike pretty quickly. Vance did as he ran up from the outside there. Man, oh man, Veritas have such a good control of this B side. Mr. BS gets a kill from the lower tunnels. DJ next, throwing some rounds into the uh, bangable wall there. Not getting a kill. And Vance is actually looking around that side as well. Oh, but that flank from Balcony. Vance 
has to... Nope, he actually gets the kill. Wow, alright, very nicely done. As I was talking, he did that. A is still being contested. Law Dog and Kiba, I believe, are there. The map isn't lying to me. Nope, Mr. BS is not actually on A. He's on the staircase. Covering his buddies, but man, Veritas, they're 5 up right now. 5v2. Not exactly the cleanest first round, that's for sure. Ooh, nice kill for Mr. BS. They have been patient. Heard those footsteps. DJ gets to kill on the Law Dog, which means it's just Mr. BS. He's by himself. He's getting shot in the back, and Kate takes him out for the first round. Good ears there, Kate. Well? I... <laughs> it's hard to say that, because it was... That was... It was like watching ballet. You know, highly choreographed, almost. And yeah, I think the linchpin is movements. B. Like, yeah. Veritas, HH and Veritas, they, they, you know, they're trading a couple kills here and there, right? It's like a 3v2, a 4v2. But then they capture B, and then it's like, well, there's not much we can do now. Yeah, Veritas loves the Bravo control. You know, they route so strong for it, too. Especially with this pre-fire that Vance is getting on the outside. With that, he can now push in pretty... Uh, pretty easily up to these windows for I cover. But Kiba, while I'm talking, he goes hand. He gets a double kill. Where was that on A? Looks like he went balcony. He's taking some shots from Vance, I believe it is. He's in the bushes there on the outer edge of B. Uh, looks like there's quite a few nades coming in. Kiba Whoa. Wits gets the nade. Kate gets the kill. And Vance get a kill. But Mr. BS trades wow. out Kate. So where does That's that leave of... us? It's a 3v1 with all that seconds. action. It's a lot That's of fragmentation, dude. Oh, yeah. Vance. Kill on Dady at balcony. That was a good shot, Vance. <laughs> Vance jumps up into the line of fire. Realizes that there's a player stuck right on that corner, but now they know where Vance is. He's going to drop a nade into these steps while he's getting shot from this balcony side. Oh, and he gets taken out. 1-1. One, one. Alrighty. You know, I, I take my words back. You know, it's... Uh, you set the pace with your... Uh, roots, but you know you get picks and it changes really quick. Yeah, keep it with that double kill within like what the first thirty seconds. That was huge, and then he got a triple by concluding that nade. At the, and Kate uh, finished him off. With yeah. a beautiful nade from uh, stairs. That was a lot of a lot of. A lot of movement back and forth, and that was really good to see, though. Like seconds. as Kiba threw his nade, there was a nade coming in on him as well. So it's just excellent teamwork by Veritas for sure. And I know people might not like me saying it, but Veritas, man, Link, it's a Link show. His calls and his like game sense is just so strong. Even if you kill him, he can still like basically add another person to the team. Kiba with another kill in the first couple of minutes, seconds of this round. Sorry, gets a kill into two with a nade. Very well done. But no, Strike with a kill as well. So this this pace is very different. Right now it's pretty slow. Vance is moving up. Mr. BS gets a kill as well. That means it is a 5v2. 5v1. Strike kills Vance. That was excellent. Link is dropping down. He's going to go into the C area. But HH, they got a member on every place on the map. So right now, it's they know where that last player is. If they've been counting correctly, if Kiba knew he got a kill with that nade, they know where this last player is. It looks like Link is going to be checking these staircases, trying to find out where this HH player is. And they're capping B anyway, so even if Link is able to find this player and kill him, HH is going to immediately revive him. Oh, Link does spot him out. Logdog did not see him. Very nice shot by Link. Very excellent play there. So he is going to be respawned right away. So that's the only unfortunate thing. And he's reloading while the players are on the other side. He cancels his reload animation. Gets a kill under Mr. BS. Link can go ham here. C is probably one of the easiest places to do very well in a 1v5 situation. Situation, situation. It's 5v1 still. HH is just respawning themselves over and over. And Kiba ah. takes them out. Hurrah, that reload spot. cancel and, and kill is... I love that. I, I sincerely hope you don't take out re, uh, reloading and cancel animations because it's... Oh no, I did it earlier today. It's edge, man. Right? right? Mm -hmm. At last minute. Like, uh, wait a second, I'm not done. <laughs> and those footsteps, I mean, Link heard him come around that corner and canceled, got that frag. If he had been able to shoot through that glass maybe a little easier, I think the player had already moved out of the way when he was shooting, but... Wow. Yeah, shooting through up. those cars is... Uh... Troublesome at best. Yeah, they some of the cards were fixed. You can now actually shoot through some of the glass, but well, that's right. I saw your video on YouTube about that. Well, part of the problem. Well, anyway, I won't get into AP ammo, but 
Didi with a frag onto Kate. Yeah, it looks like Veritas is taking it a lot slower this round. If you look, Vance is really the only one that's pushing a lot. Chewie gets a kill onto Kiba. I believe Kiba tried to push through or something because he was sitting a little bit farther back. So nades going off. Vance needs some more jumps to try and get vision over this balcony area. Link gets a kill onto Didi, so this looks like it's going to be Veritas's round because HH is already down two players. And Veritas have excellent control of the map right now. Some shots being exchanged from B inside to B outside with Vance here. Sees a guy in the corner. Wow, I didn't even see that player. He takes him out, and now he's in a duel with, I believe, it's Shrike? with the SKS, but there's two Veritas members on this objective now, and now they're just going to start shooting over Shrike's head, and he's going to have a very frustrating time. Chewie kills Law Dog, Vance kills Strike. 2-2. Two, two. God, I love Ministry. Just saying it. Oh, it's beautiful competition, man. It's clean, and it's not the symmetry necessarily either. It's just a clean map. It's straightforward. It's easy to understand. It's got so much variation in it, though, which is why it's like... It's yeah, so crazy. A thousand different ways you could play it. But it's so simple. It's like it's like the simplest map with the most variation on play. It's it's just so interesting. And Veritas specifically a team that changes what they're doing every round. I mean, they've kind of been doing the same thing with a few subtleties here and there, but like some rounds they're putting two people B shooting down strike and this round Didi's killing Chewy. And Didi, actually a double kill by him, takes out Kate and Chewie. That's pretty awesome. But Link, I believe he hears him and is going to be checking behind him. Yeah, he's checking these staircases. Strike with the kill on the next with a nice single shot. Whoa, Law Dog takes out Link. Man, what's going on? Veritas has just fallen and not a single HH is down. Oh, there you go. Okay, Vance gets one. Vance gets two. That Vance, man. Mm, not quite, but good. Vance, look at look at Vance right now. Eight and three. The next highest is five and four. Vance just doing work this game. Especially from that outside area, looking through those windows. I mean, he's seeing players and twitching to them so incredibly fast. Having played against Vance in a scrim outside Bravo, I can definitely contest to his M16 skills. Yeah, I'm just thinking about that. He peeked the window. He was actually checking inside lobby, but pulled his gun down and almost shot through the little lip of the uh, window there and took out the player in those steps. It's just excellent, excellent vision and, and... Oof, it's brutal. I'm trying to see, is HH... Yeah, HH is actually trying to shut him down now. They, they see what he's doing on this outside area and they don't want to have to contest him through this window, so they're starting to... Put a player outside to help cover. He's actually making a move through bottom A. He's going to be running up to this balcony area. There are some shots being exchanged. Link gets a kill onto Kiba on top A. I think he just ran around that corner there. I don't think there's any flashes or smokes or anything. Chewie's going to hold his position on this uh, middle area. Kate gets a frag kill. Link gets a kill from balcony. Actually, it wasn't a frag kill. It was an M16 kill. Chewie gets taken out by Strike, but at this point, they know exactly where Strike is, and I expect Kate or Link to just shred him to pieces in the next two seconds. I guess not. The crackbacks, they, they fail. They failed me. There you go. Now they see him. But Shrike, man, he was allowed to capture Bravo. I don't know if that was a mistake by Veritas or just like an unintentional. Oh! Actually, DJ Nintendo oh, spins right at Shrike. And Open it your didn't eyes, think it was brother. a live body. What's going on? Oh, man. It looked like a dead body. And now Shrike, I, I don't think they're going to check this corner now. Ah, yeah, he makes up for it. They probably okay. heard him moving. But for a second, that there. was a little crazy. Yeah, it was a little crazy. Three v two in HH's favor, but I mean, they getting back in this map is going to be very hard. And Law Dog is able to kill DJ next. Kate gets a Kate double dropping kill. Him. That was a little bit of a mistake by HH there, but it's going to work out because it's a one v one. And Law Dog, ooh, Kate throws a flash. Law Dog has to prone. He's going to try shuffling around here. So Kate choosing to go outside using the that aggressor. Walkie. As you see what she's doing, she's stutter stepping the walk key. Log dog here, sir. Oh, 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 jump! Oh, jump! Oh, Why? oh, yeah. oh, that was a that was not. Oh man, Gresham wins the day. The ace for Kate. Wow. We all remember okay. what Sean Connery said in The Rock. Okay. Mustn't hesitate. But like, Log dog could hear her running, and he decides to jump on the. Pl I mean, it probably just was a missed timing. He thought she was a little farther it back. It was. But... Yep. Thought, no, I'm gonna take the initiative. Uh, in that late. situation, though, initially. 
Oh, Take the initiative man. immediately, or you commit to staying. I was gonna say I'd I'd rather see him like at least lean around the corner. Or, oh, that's such a hard uh, man. Poor Shrek Law Dog is man. At him. I can hear it from here. Kicking himself. Well, three three. I mean, we knew this was gonna be close, and looks like actually new strat. HH is pushing the balcony here. Didi gets a kill onto Kate. That's excellent work there. Nade's coming in. Doesn't kill Law Dog. Kiba takes out Link because he was shut down from pushing Balcony by Law Dog. Very excellent play there. So now HH has control of Balcony. There are some shots being exchanged outside. It is Vance on the outside. He is taken out by Strike and Mr. BS takes out DJ. It looks like HH is going to win this round because it's and a clean ace from HH. Wow. Not a single man lost. Kiba with the double. Oh, baby. Woof. That was a tight round. I mean, we thought Veritas was the aggressive on, team, but HH, on. man, they put it hard on. Woo. Yeah, I believe Kiva's talking about the rounds one uh, statistics. He is indeed, yeah, they needed four. Uh, they're, conf they're confirmed second now with having four. Even if they lose nine rounds to four, uh, they still cool. get confirmed second because of the round difference. Dang, man. Well, it is 4-3. This is the last round of the first half. I don't, I don't know what to predict. I feel like it's going to go 4-4, because that's kind of how Ministry goes with two very evenly based teams. But, you know, it could be something different. Kiba gets the first blood here. Kiba with a double on Link and Kate, two of the heaviest hitters. But DJ takes out Kiba as he tried to run through the planners, and Deity is right on this corner. If he can jump up here, he can get a nice kill. But Vance takes out Strike, so that means Deity needs to pay attention to his right side. It's a 3v3. He sees the uh, player. He's not paying Kate, attention. Mike? And he takes out what happened. Charlie was captured. Didi kills a player. Law Dog captures Alpha. Mr. BS kills fans. There's a lot of action going on. It's 5v3 in HH's favor. They are decapping B currently. HH is running towards this A site. There's no one really pressuring yet, but they're going to try and prevent Veritas from doing anything on this map. Go, Casey, man. go. A brain, man. And look at Kate as she's coming around this corner. She's actually stutter stepping, so she doesn't lose all her speed, but she has her gun. And like 60% of all cases is quicker to pull up because she's like tapping her run key, which is actually something very smart that you don't see very many players doing. Law Dog takes out Chewie. So 5v2. Looks like they want to win this last round of the half, but Link takes out Mr. BS. Kate is sitting on this balcony side. She fires a shot. Didi captures Bravo. Kiba kills Link, but Kate kills Law Dog. So it is a 4v1. That cap was honestly slightly wasted because, I mean,. They didn't respawn their teammate. They could have held off a little bit, but Kate's on this A point. She might actually hold it for quite a while. I don't know if HH is rotating quite yet. By the time they nah, get they're there, descending like oh, crows. there's BS. Yep. They're vultures. Like birds. And this one, oh, Link, Kate saw the person on the step. She whipped around. But HH captured Charlie. Oh. Why are you capturing objectives when you know you could die? Oh. Man, but they win at the end, 5-3. And that's something, like, it gets me, man. Like, <laughs> you're guaranteed to win that round, right? As long as you keep your players alive. So what if something goes wrong and you lose three players? Like, don't capture Charlie. Step off it. Let it have, like, 0.1 second cap left. And then, you know, lose three players and then touch Charlie if you need, right? Like, you don't want to limit your respawns. But in the end, I mean, they did win the round. I can't be too. Mm. But I <laughs> understand, understand you. Yeah. You're, you're definitely you right. Your, you you commit to uh, the, re the rescue of the point. Or the denial of the point, rather. I mean, that could be team confidence as well. I think HH was pretty confident they didn't need that respawn. However, I, a much more cautious player, says, just in case, let's not do anything. <laughs> oh, baby. 5-3. If... Okay, so what happens if HH wins besides infinite glory? and uh, smack smack talk rights <laughs> for quite a while. Uh, Link won't be sober this evening. I can guarantee <laughs> that. Yeah. The Veritas have to win two rounds to tie it up. Some shots being exchanged on the outside. And this is awesome. I love to see players using the outside because outside ministry is so rarely used. Kate does a jump turn and is still alive. I don't even know how. Some more shots being exchanged. Log Dog does take out Vance. Kate's going to get a double kill here if she can get that second player. She calls it out to her team. And that, play, that player's still alive. The player's still alive. Shrike is still alive. 
How is he alive? He's got to pay attention to this balcony side, which is so hard to do. There are two Veritas members, one to his front. The nade is dropping in. Kate, there you go. Kate saw him through the nade. Excellent nade. Log Dog is now pushing from the outside. Gets taken out by DJ. This is not looking like a HH's round. 2v4. I think they're all inning for C here. Nope. Chewy shuts down Kiba there. Nasty little prone. Veritas capture that alpha point. It is just Mr. BS left. He is on the C objective. So what does Mr. BS have to do here? Real? He pretty much has to uh, say a prayer. Pray to whatever deity he believes in. Probably his teammate. And uh, <laughs> nice. Oh, he does get a single kill. Unfortunately, B was captured, so the Veritas member did not respawn. But at this point, they know where Mr. BS is, right? Shots were coming in over his face, hitting the car. So they know where he is. They're just kind of, you know, get all their players in the position and then rush them all at once. Or just currently, wait. Just Link and Mr. BS wait each other out, yeah. Yeah, see right now, like, just players are taking shots at the car, keeping them busy while Link is kind of peeking around this corner. And now all hell breaks loose as some shots are being taken. Vance does take a hit to the chest, but he's still running. More shots coming in as Link facing him, and he does yeah. take him out. 5-4. Yeah, I was really surprised with Veritas pushing it like that. Or, you know, at least, you know, just pushing him. Mm hmm Because usually they just, you know, they'll sit in the corner and wait. You know, it's on him. You know, Mr. BS had to make the move. Yeah, uh, I think they're... Uh taking this a little more seriously, right? Like, when, when you're down two rounds on Ministry, it's like, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's regroup. Let's run our best strat, or what we think is the most effective here. And last round, it was, uh, it was pretty close for, like, the first minute. Veritas was definitely leading the way in kills, though. Strike with the first frag on the DJ, a nade coming in from Link onto this B objective. That's a really good nade. I'm glad to see a lot of players doing that. DD gets a, another kill for HH. Link takes out DD as he tried to rotate up to the balcony. That rotation was just slightly slow. I don't know if Link hurt him or... Ah, but Law Dog sat up and they were waiting for him. But Shrike is still contested on this B objective. Now what? What? That was All crazy. Those kills at the last, like, what, 10 seconds? Holy cow. HH, man. I think three HH members got a frag in like three seconds of each other. That was so fast. So I don't know, is HH still the proning clan or are they the hyper aggressive clan, you know? They can still be both. <laughs> they can be both. They can be aggressive, uh, aggressive cronies, I guess. Man, the HH is definitely putting out the stops. So this practice that they've had is working out for sure. For sure. So let's see how it works out. We are about 30 seconds in. A flash goes off on bottom A. He was pushing this balcony side. The nade does come out from Link. And he does not get the peak shot. Kiba wins that little trade there, and now Kiba is pressuring. He needs to be careful from these flanks by Veritas, these crackbacks that they're so well known for. Kiba's pushing the inside of insurgent b he needs to pay attention to his right because he can hear a player it might be someone c or it could be someone right around the corner vance is pushing this insurgent side security side i'm not too sure he's pushing the enemy side he sees strike but strike takes him out at this point dj knows exactly where strike is he's not actually looking all right now he's looking in that corner chewy takes out dd so there you go it is 4v3 dj's got to be really careful he'll log dog takes out chewy Kiba with a nice reflex on the DJ next as he came around that corner. Shrike is now passing this B objective that leads just Kate in the center. She does take out Kiba, but she's taking shots from so many different directions. She's using this column to maximum efficiency to cover oh, look at the that angles. Look at that she hop. leaps through a bullet. Beautiful <laughs> dance. Throws a flash. What is she going to do? She gets another one. She's throwing a second flash. She's in a Molotov, but it's not quite hitting. The fire. Now she's grinding her ADS up. She's peeking over these bushes, trying to figure out where these security members is. Pressing the AD, 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 but Law Dog takes her out with a single click from, from the balcony, balcony side. Yeah. Kate, man, that is a hero. That is a that is like a pro a level mindset, death, right? Man. Normal player very, would very freak out, player. try to run to cover, and she's like, no, I am safe standing in the open, keeping my opponent in between me and this column. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.
I don't even have words. <laughs> HH is 7-4. Oh, baby. HH is 7-4. HH only need two rounds. Two rounds for glory in the internet to win. So let's see what's going to happen. Some shots mm. being come down outside. Some pre-fire B, I believe, maybe. Oh, Link and a Maltov. That gave an audio cue to the enemy. He's now throwing his nade onto this B side. Didi is pushing. I don't know what that Maltov was supposed to achieve, but Link with a fantastic reflex on Whoa! the enemy. Just a second too late, but Kiba, Kiba him. takes him out. Yeah. Good reaction on this part, though. Vance kills strikes. Where does that leave us? It is a 2v4. <laughs> Veritas did not want to lose this round. That is for sure. Chewie on this balcony side, Kate in B steps, Vance in B outside as well. Looks like actually they're going to let HH tag back in with C. Looks like HH want to go to the 5 respawn, 5 respawn. Bring it back to neutral. I mean, at this point, I, I think that's a good call for Veritas as well. Like, hey, look, we can probably beat them on a 1v1. You know, that's I'm assuming that's what Veritas is thinking. And they're just going to let each of each other... What, what's, what's the phrase? They're going to let each other cap. So 5v5. Let's see if any spawn camps happen. I don't think there will be any, but it'll depend on this flurry of action here. Vance with the first kill on the DD as he went this outside route. Kate gets a kill on the Law Dog. Shrike gets a kill on the Kate. So Vance now, he can flank and get a nice kill on to Shrike if Shrike moves up these steps, which it looks like he wants to. So what's going on? It's a 4v3. Yeah, looks like they're just kind of trying to wait it out a little bit. HH does own A and C. DJ with the kill and the strike. That's that's unfortunate for HH. At this point, Kiba needed to get some, needs to get a double kill. Looks like Link is pushing down bottom. Vance is middle A, or first floor, running down C, I believe, is what he wants to do. Nope. Yep, yep, he's going to run down to C. Mr. BS just missing him on these steps. Oh, does the jump hit fire, does take out Vance. That's what HH needed to bring it closer to a winnable situation. It is 2v3. Mr. BS is stopping this C-cap. Kiba is decapping A, making the call that, hey, look, they were A, but now they're running C. So I believe Kiba's going to run C? Or is he going to go for this B objective? 50 seconds left in this round. If BS goes down, Veritas responds. And at that point, it's not a winnable situation. Kiba sees a player on his feet. He's going to come around this corner. Does some pre fire. Does not kill him because where did that guy go? He literally disappeared because he jumped down onto the step. Kiba unable to get the kill. Whoa! Oh. At the end of it, gets the kill. What on earth? Link I guess in the meantime, though. Him. <laughs> they they capped Charlie. 30 seconds left. So I'm thinking it's Veritas around. Unless Kiba can get an ace within 20 seconds. But at this point, Veritas should just leave a player in their spawn. Guaranteed to win. Kiba does get one. Kills Link from behind. He actually might get B. Nope, does not advance. Pre fires around that corner. Excellent job by both teams that round. That was the close one. Whew. Yo, watch you while I load. You know, there's a reload line just like that. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard Secrets. it. Secrets. I have indeed. Uh oh. Law Dogs pulling out a 2x. Pulling out the optics. What? That's crazy. Was he going along A with that? Probably I think outside. he said, yeah, he's playing Bravo. Oh, that was a silly thing to say. Yeah, of course. Long A. It's not CS, Mike. Hey, I mean, HH God. does use optics quite frequently, and I A is a. one of those objectives. They have used it very successfully. Oh, really? Mm hmm Yeah, I meant upper A. Some flashes going off. Link worried about that push from Balcony that he so frequently had. Shrike kills Chewie. I believe Chewie lagged around that corner. I saw some frame droppage at least. Kate trying to get that trade was unable to do so. Shrike with the second kill. Vance with the kill on the Law Dog. That was outside Bravo. <laughs> Link a little upset about the registration there. Kate with the kill on the Deity. Man oh man, where is that? Where does that leave us? It's 3v3, but Shrike sees Vance through the smoke. DJ next is set up on the south side. Kate, man, Kate is going ham this round. She's getting all the kills for her team. If Mr. BS can get this frag onto Vance while he's outside, that'll be huge. Kate again My with all the God. Damage. Kate's gonna get an ace this round. Yeah, unfortunately, Mr. BS is just gonna go see. Looks like they're gonna try and trade objectives because that B just hit neutral. DJ throwing some rounds around in B just to see if he can catch someone out. But 
Oh, man, that was sick. If they had actually stopped Kate, this was easily HH's round. But Kate getting four kills, I believe it was. My goodness. We'll see in the after-match report. Kate is running towards the C objective to stop it. The team is probably going to capture B. Yep, they just did. That bonus Smart teamwork cap helped them out greatly. She was able to stand there for a few, like, what, three seconds to save their cap seven seconds, so she had enough time to rotate to see. Very nice event. She sees him through the car, actually kills him with the first bullet. Is that an ace? Is that an ace? Nice. Oh, close. 4 0. So I guess she got three. So, yeah, that's my bad. Kate is definitely one of the smartest players in the game. I'll give her that. Absolutely. She's 19 and 12 as well. Timeout. Hardest fragger. Yep, HH called timeout. I mean, it's seven six. So, at this point, it's it's a dead even game. Veritas mm. has been on a roll as well, and I think that timeout is good. Kind of chill out, figure out what they're doing. I'm gonna breathe and take a sip of my water. Yeah, I was just gonna say, deep breath. Bring that heart rate down. So my prediction before we started mm. was a nine seven game. I don't I don't know who's gonna win. Because that, that's a little that's a little far out for me, but I said it'll probably be a nine seven. I could be wrong. <laughs> so what do you think Veritas is talking about, Chubb? Uh, yeah, I I would have to say Link is you know talking to Chewy, you know uh, maybe next, like hey you know. What are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. But, you know, they've been getting the rounds you know, recently. Uh, he's probably not cursing at them, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Or maybe he is, you know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I remember that time I actually came from HH. Not Veritas. Oh, that was a <laughs> quick smoke break. break. <laughs> he went outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh there you the go. Whole thing right into his lungs. He's trying to get that adrenaline pumping. <laughs> yeah. Well, timeout. Hey, I'm. Hey, timeouts are something you don't see too many teams using, and I think it's a great, great asset competitive teams can use. And looks like it's working out because Dita shut down Kate. Chewy, however, shuts down Strike. And Link gets a kill on the DD. So, HH is a little bit of a trouble. It's 4v3. Some more rounds coming in from outside. Logdog's in some trouble. Being shot from the car. DJ Nex is able to take out Logdog. But HH is going to respawn from C objective. Meaning it's 5v4. Soon to be 5v5 because B should be going their way pretty soon. As well as maybe A? Uh, let me see if we can find someone on A. Yep. Looks like both objectives are just one's at 50, one's at 75. So the question is, can HH get back into this map? Yes, they respawned, but can they get out of their spawn is the big question. B was just capped. And Keep is playing real passive. Yeah, you know, he's, he's waiting. Out one. Oof. Not looking like to be HH's game, man. Getting back into ministry after a respawn like that is so hard to do. And it looks like HH is paying the price. Kibo was looking for a spawn kill, and they all ran around him. Yep. Oof. Law Dog with a nice three burst onto Vance. Kibo's watching the other side of this route as well. 3v4. Looks like Kate is going to the C objective, try and make a pull. Link is also on the C objective, so it's going to force a member of HH to rotate, but that rotation is going to be a little bit difficult, putting it lightly. Chewy, prone on top of the little balcony, step up there, is able to take out Log Dog. Kate escapes Alkiba. That's a pretty solid Veritas round right there. Very much so. Tied oh game. My. Tied game. Ooh, it's getting good. This is the best part. This is where I love competitive insurgency. Two great teams, just on a great map, so close. Especially with a team like Veritas on Ministry. I mean... Oh, yeah. In, in, in terms of... There are some maps where you can do gimmicky things to win, even if you're not the better team. On a map like Ministry, not so much. 
So the fact that these teams are tied 7-7 means, holy crap, this is still low the same. Even if the other team, even if one team just stomps, right, and it goes 9-7. 9-7 is a very close game between two teams on Ministry. And generally means that, eh, there's maybe a few mistakes out here and there. Kiba gets going, Chewy Kate with a freaking, like, wall hack there. Comes around the corner, takes out the, and of course, as I say that, Kiba takes her out, and Logdog gets a kill, and DJ Next gets a kill. At this point, it looks like to be HH's round because it's just one member of Veritas, and he's on this B objective. He's gotta kill this player on balcony, then he's gotta watch his right because he's getting rotated on as I speak. Actually, is he? I heard movement. He does kill the balcony player. Yeah, okay, yeah, he was not getting rotated. That was a player on C that I was hearing in my headphones. Oh, but Shrike. Oh. <laughs> just waiting for him. <gasps> they at least got the tie. <laughs> right? Right? That, that exa Chubb called it. I mean, at this point, if Veritas win, we hit overtime. If, if they can at least take win, a breath. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. And I mean, let's be honest. Losing to Veritas in overtime is basically saying we beat Veritas, right? Like, that's a... Exactly. Like, I think, you know, it's kind of sad because, like, yes, one team will win in an overtime situation, but it's like, man. It's hard to say one team is really the winner in any type of overtime because it's like, eh. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, people start getting tired. Yeah. But, I mean, stamina is a requirement of competitive. Ooh, Didi with a nice kill on the cave. That's a person they want to take out. Law Dog with the second kill onto Link. That's two heavy hitters down. That leaves just Vance in terms of frags. And let's see what he can do. Ah, Vance and DJ both get kills of their own. That's excellent. Take out Kiba and Shrike. Two heavy hitters for HH. So both heavy hitters are down. Oh, baby. It's a 3v3. B is being captured by HH. They just brought it back to neutral. Ooh, and a Veritas member is on this B. Two Veritas members are on this B objective. Didi with a fantastic jump. Can he jump on the window slip? He cannot. Vance takes him out. If Didi had actually landed. Oh, but a nade! A freaking nade for Mr. BS takes out Vance. That was excellent. It's 1v1. <gasps> what on earth? Oh, no, no. This is pandemonium. Uh, I think I got to walk away or something. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Chewie's going to prone somewhere, and he's going to hold that angle, and just, it's going to be hard for Mr. BS to do anything. Mr. BS probably is just going to sit in the spot he's at, waiting for Chewie to make a move. But Chewie actually Chewie's playing very aggressive. 1v1. A 1v1 for the freaking tie or win right now. What on earth? Two this minutes left in this round. This is too much, you guys. Unfortunately, if neither player do anything, we will have infinite time. Because A is blinking. So I that's know Chewy. good news Chewy for security. He's going to wait him out. Yeah, both of these players. I mean, HH is patient because they're patient. Chewy is patient because it's Chewy. But he's not, Chewy's actually playing the more aggressive one. He's holding a very aggressive angle. He's checking all these different things. Oh, you hear some movement. Mr. BS is moving. Why is he doing this? What What is this play here? He's going to touch the C objective. And Chewy, does he have to stop him? Does Chewy also have to rotate? He's going to go towards his A objective. Who's going to cap first? A is going to cap first. A is uh, already a at 50%. For Chewie to go to Alpha. Yep, they already objective have... already blinking. One minute and 13 seconds left in this round. Both teams are going to cap each other in. Veritas taking the cap first. So what does that change, though? Does that really change anything? Veritas is going to get to B first. They're going to lock down B. They're going to probably capture B, which means HH have to do something... Crazy fast, but Mr. BS takes out Chewie and caps. So it's 5v4. Veritas looks like they're stacking outside. Or at least put two players up there. Ah, oh, DJ is taken out. Or sorry, DJ takes out Deity. Van Strike unable to connect with those shots. Looks like it's going to be the tie, ladies and gentlemen. It is 3v4. It's still pretty close, but Kate. Nope, Kate gets a kill. 20 seconds left. So what, what's the news here? What's the news here? He was going to go C. You know what? If they play it right, we can go into... Link has time. to stop A. If Mr. BS kills Link, I think HH wins. I'm not too sure. Mr. BS, use your headphones. You can hear him. You can hear him. Oh my god. Nerve Alpha's right still here. blinking. Yep. We're going to hit infinite time, I believe. Oh, I love these. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yeah, we are in infinite time for the win or for the tie. Kiba takes out Link. If HH caps A, I think they win. Why are you moving off the point? Oh, because C is blinking. Oh, God. 
This is not what you want. Yeah, can you, you cannot uh, take C like that. And in oh, 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 oh. Wow. I hit overtime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. shit. Okay. Okay. I don't know. That was... Veritas won because of the infinite time, I think. Because yeah, people... I think that rotation forced... Yeah, it didn't... I don't know. That was you know, Okay, you know, since we got Mikey here, I want to tell him, I know a lot of people have been really, really hard on infinite time, and I gotta tell you, competitively, I think it's added another element. It, it may make games a little wonky, but for viewing purposes competitively i think it just adds that tension because you i have was to... just gonna say man yeah like i don't know about you guys but that was pretty exciting right oh, well, that was, that it's was more or less the issue of you don't really know when the round is gonna end like what do we have to do i don't know it, it definitely adds something different to the game that wasn't there already mm. whether it's good or bad mm. i kind of like the pressure of time but at the same time, I mean, Veritas won because they executed correctly throughout the entire game, not just within the first four minutes, right? So on one hand, you know, the team that is playing better more consistently will win. But on the other hand, it's like, does infant time really ever happen? It's like very rarely. And for anyone watching that don't know the rules for overtime, it's first to four. Yep. Yeah, that, that pressure Veritas put for C was, I think, the kicker. And Kate was waiting for him. Yeah, I mean, you can't retake C. If, if Veritas is... He won't retake it. Unless you throw, like, a bajillion smoke. Which is something I have not been seeing this map, is utility. I saw a little bit of flashes on top, but... And Kate the rolling the double uh, flashes. Really yeah, I, I know here. people carry them. I just don't know if they use them. I haven't seen them too often, but... Oh, looks like Vance is going to throw this nade onto Strike while his teammate shoots. Excellent teamwork there. But Law Dog is able to take him out from that card. Nade does not get a kill. Link throws the nade onto this balcony side. Link does kill Law Dog. So 4v3v3, v3, actually. Strike's got to be careful on this B side. Especially with the. Wow, Chewie taking some rounds right over his face on balcony. He's got to pay attention to where those shots are coming in from. DJ, yeah, it looks like they know where he is. He's on that back corner, but a nade drops right in Mr. DJ's face. That was a beautiful nade. Oh, that was beautiful. The frame, it popped in. It touched the ground in blue. That was and He that saw was that. He was like, well, that's it. Yeah. Chewie making his way onto this B site. He sees the security. There's a nade dropping in by Kate. Excellent teamwork there. Ooh, baby. Mr. BS is on C objective. Kiva needs to be careful here. Because he is exposed. He's actually going to try and stop this B point. Chewie in the same spot he was earlier. And sees Kiva and takes Beautiful the body. Yeah, shot. I, I think that was just a little bit of miscommunication by HH. It was... I mean, it's kind of obvious where the, the players were in general vicinity. But... I mean, it's kind of hectic. Mr. BS does capture Charlie in the end, though, so it is 5v2. Kate is not going to capture Alpha. Nope, she is. Okay, she captures Alpha. <laughs> I was going to say she left it with, like, 90%. Rick was probably yelling her, Kate, get back on there! <laughs> yeah. Chewie takes out the Itty. Looks like Didi got a little antsy there. 4v5. Kate gets a second kill. Kiba takes out Link from a little camp there. Had some sausages. They were delicious. Mr. BS here's some people running in below him. Log Dog is taken out by Chewy. They're not paying attention to their flanks. Like, most of these players are dying to their backside, right? Yeah. Hmm. Keep a holding it, Charlie. Holding the cap. Yep. Keep is on C. Uh, BS is on A. At this point, I mean... 2v4. Uh, it's pretty doable. Yeah, but you can see Veritas rotating. They're just yep. like that octopus metaphor. Tentacles are coming around. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I mean, 30 seconds left in this round. Looks like they're all ending for A. The unfortunate thing is they might just lose. They kind of lost their map pressure by this rotation. Now, does not get it. Veritas, the first round of the half. 
It's all right. There's many more to come. At least three more. Watch out while I reload. Wow. So, what do you think's going on? Is it like where is HH running into problems? Are they their first minute execution is excellent? I feel like after that minute, in the, like the later forty-five mid -game. seconds, they're yeah. like their calls mid-game are a little rough. Or is it that Veritas is simply put in places to stop those mid-game rotations? If I can call them rotations, it's mostly just. Oh my god, run here. Oh my god, run there. Oh my god, do this. <laughs> and I will say that's definitely what Link brings to Veritas for sure. Besides his skill, is his excellent shot calling and just being able to call people and put them where they need to be. Right now, a 1v2 on outside. DJ next. And, oh, Vance. And Vance is taken out, but Link gets a kill of his own, so it's only 4-4. Some nades going off back and forth. I believe they were Balcony or B or something. Veritas is capturing A. HH is capturing B. But... Veritas just killed two of HH. So, 3v5, unfortunately. And that sucks. Those kills came in right at the opportune moment. Strike is under some pressure. He's basically, like, in a help me please team situation. 2v5. Oh, but Strike gets the first kill. Chewie jumps up. He's going to be pushing this player. He needs to get this kill. Oh, man. Vance takes him out. 1v4. Veritas is capturing B objective. C is being contested. But Link in the corner sees Mr. BS and takes him out. I don't know. Do you think Veritas has the momentum now? You know, coming from uh, regular match play into overtime now? They've already got two. Yeah. I don't want to say HH is losing their, their cohesion, but they're definitely not having those rounds where they just ace Veritas, right? You definitely mm -hmm. saw that earlier in the game. And at least for the first two games of overtime, they've been really good rounds, right? They, like, they've been longer rounds with like only 20 to 40 seconds left. But they weren't very clean. They were kind of messy from both teams. But then it's exactly. like, oh, well, Veritas captured an objective. So it's 5v2 no matter what HH does. So I think HH needs to win the first couple seconds and hold these objectives, not let Veritas get them. Link flashing himself at Alpha, I think. <laughs> yeah, that definitely happens. Logdog with the first kill on the Link. There you go. That's the that's step one, right? Don't let Veritas get Alpha. Put those players elsewhere in the map. So Kiba and Shrike. Shrike getting a kill. Sorry, not even Shrike. Shrike getting a kill. Excellent work. 4v3. You know, I was just talking about HH and their cohesion and teamwork, but, man, they're doing good stuff now. Kate gets a kill from Balcony. Kiba needs to push her and take her out because she's doing so good. Shrike kills Vance. 4v2. Kiba kills Chewie. This guy captures Bravo. 5v1. And Kate goes down. Alright. Alright. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what you were talking about. H and H, they just they get that right off the bat from the beginning. Yeah, those kills came in. Those kills came in when they needed it. Two rounds for Veritas to win. Three for HH. What are the odds of HH winning three rounds in a row, though? Like, that's that's some hardcore pressure. Yeah, we'll probably know within the first 30 seconds of the round. Yeah. Just like yeah, previously. That's the truth. That is the truth. Timeout, I believe, right? Yeah, both teams. Yeah, Veritas is not ready yet. Nope, nope, they're ready. All right, so now we're going to go live. Now we're going to go live. Oh, this is such It's a just good a single OT, right? Match. No double OT? Uh, correct. Right. I believe it's they play overtime, and if it's tied, then it's officially tied. Yeah, correct. Oh, that would piss off. So, uh, HH, <laughs> they have to win three in a row to win. If Veritas get one, it's at least a draw. At least. Yeah. I uh, I wish I had a graph here that would show me the ongoing match wins. Like, I want to see how many rounds in a row Ver uh, HH has won consistently in this match so far. To see the potential of winning three in a row. Link gets the first kill on the log dog. Kiba unable to get that trade. Chewie takes out Kiba. Didi takes out Chewie. That's a little rough for HH because they're already down to two players. It's 2v4. Two <laughs> wow. Ooh. That was unfortunate. HH did a strat where they pushed two bottom A and they did not get a single kill. Chewie killed them both. And that was really rough. Both those players missed their shots on the Veritas member bottom A. And that, I think that's you know, it. That's hurting yep. them, yep. 
interesting idea about a graph case it would be like a momentum index yeah exactly we're measuring yeah like well, yeah, you, that's yeah. another thing i want to say the uh, outlawed plugin great for numbers in case of i swear to god if we don't get an end of season like oh suddenly... no we, we are we are for okay, sure good. man i've been working on it there's a ton of stuff in it it's not just i'm getting it's with not flats, just case the box plots. I, I need some scatter plots <laughs> listen listen man we're doing box plots we're doing percentages of teams capturing what objectives we're doing what, tons of stuff what about pie charts pie charts please please Probably will one. be some pie charts, so oh, specifically yeah. for objectives, because they are in groups of three. Number porn. Yeah, baby. So, <laughs> what does HH need to do? This is going to be rough. Chewie takes out Deity. That's not a great start. And Chewie flanks Law Dog. He heard him running, but didn't turn around. He's more focused on watching his front. This is rough for HH. Man, it's already won. It's 1v5 for the win here. The Veritas win this round, they win the game in overtime. Yeah, I think I think this is Veritas' win. Yeah, Chewy in the yeah, corner. Last shot for Chewy. Takes it out. Final score is Veritas three rounds of four rounds of overtime, pardon me, versus one HH. I would be very interested to see if infinite time was not in place how that last round would have ended because the drama would be much more interesting if they would have won if hh would have won without infinite time but veritas did win with infinite time hey, maybe make would've... a soap opera out of it we could have like a three-part <laughs> series you know with an accompanying uh comic book series as well. yeah yeah absolutely but you know, God, in that particular that was instance so wasn't that uh seven eight or was it 7-7? Seven, seven? Um, right, infinite time round. Oh, it, it was the last round. It was 8-7. So oh, Veritas okay. So that would have been tied. It. You know, I, I can definitely see arguments, you know, either way, you know, that playing against the time, you know, you, you, you know on TS, you're just screaming at people saying, <laughs> 30 seconds, you got to go now. <laughs> God, and, it's, and it's so crazy, the execution in overtime. Like, it's so... Infinite time. Sorry, not over time. No, it's so rare. It's hard to like practice it, and it's and its skill level of execution is so incredibly high. It's just like <laughs> it's just mm. hard, man. <laughs> Down to that that call, that one call where you say, "Should I go here?" and you hesitate, and it's like, "Nope, you lost." Sorry, sorry. That jeez. That was a freaking good match. Beautiful match. That's it. Oh, just. That's what you want out of competitive insurgency. Absolutely. Just, you know, a beautiful map, two great teams uh, playing to the best of their abilities.